Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Bearded Dev and today I wanted to bring you some good news. Over the weekend I finally passed my last exam which has enabled me to achieve Microsoft Certified Solutions Expert status in data management and analytics. And I did leave this to the very last minute. Well, the exams I have passed are now officially retired, um, but I do still retain this status for two years. And I will be doing a separate video on the exams that have retired and how Microsoft has now shifted its focus in terms of those certifications. So I just wanted to go through what exams I actually passed. So a long time ago I started off with my first Microsoft uh, exam which was all around querying Microsoft SQL Server. Initially that focused on SQL Server 2012 but when they brought out SQL Server 2014 because there wasn't a, a massive deal of changes not compared to 2016 anyway they just updated the exam content so it covered both 2012 and 2014. I then shifted on to the business intelligence side and passed the certification on implementing a data warehouse. Now that covered uh, a lot of detail on integration services, uh, master data management and all about how to build a data warehouse, particularly following the Kimball methodology. I then moved on to developing SQL data models which is all around SQL Server analysis services. And that can be quite difficult because it focuses on both tabular and multidimensional. And typically you'll only use one of those flavors of the product, if you like. But for to pass that certification, you have to understand both approaches. Uh, and then the final certification that I left to the last minute and I finally passed actually on the 30th of January is developing SQL databases. So that was all about your, your typical querying, programming, but also looking after SQL databases. And it covered a bit on Azure SQL database as well. So I just wanted to say a, a massive thank you to you guys as well, as if it isn't for your, your comments and your support uh, to keep me on my toes, then maybe I wouldn't have got this far. Okay, so what am I moving on to next? My focus is now going to shift on to Azure and Power BI. I say that I've been working in Azure for the past sort of three to four years now, maybe. Um, my main focus is on Azure in the data engineering field. Um, so I do use Azure SQL Database, Synapse Analytics, Data Factory, data lake storage on a day-to-day -day basis. I actually do very little with SQL Server now other than pulling data from on-premise sources into the cloud. I'm also going to move probably later on into the year looking at Power BI. I do still do quite a bit with, with Power BI and my knowledge of SQL Server Analysis Services Tabular does help with that because that's based on the same modeling and DAX but the visualization side is different. I'm also going to be looking to develop my data wrangling skills with Azure Databricks and potentially Python as well, uh, and then doing some exploration of data science. So my aim is not to become a data scientist, but just to explore that field further, just to have a basic understanding. So once again, I thank you again for your support hope you have enjoyed this video hope you will continue to support me in the future if you are new to the channel don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thanks a lot for watching